Good afternoon. Can everyone hear me? All right. Can everyone hear the silence? All right. <laughs> Hearing the silence in a lot of ways lets us know that things are all right. Things are all right. What I wanted to talk about today is this idea of music as a healing bridge between people, between all beings. But rather than talk about it, I wanted us to experience a few different things. I wanted to begin with an ancient wisdom teaching from a yogic tradition, from a text called the Bhairava Tantra. And this sutra, this thread, this weave of words, while poetic, it's meant to be as a meditation instruction. And it goes like this. yourself in the rapture of music. Tend to each note. You know what you love. Go there. Vibrating strings bring us into the spacious resonance of the heart. Vibrating strings bring us into the spacious resonance of the heart. And you, one with the great musician, who is even now, even now, singing us into existence, singing to existence. After all, throughout history, everyone and their cousin has said something about the healing nature of music. Music has existed in every single human culture. So what could I possibly add to it? Perhaps a few stories of how it's worked in my life. I've been blessed to be immersed in it all my life. But what I was hoping to share today was an awareness of the silence and sound. So we build a bridge, bringing some awareness into the room of each other and of this space. Another ancient wisdom tradition from Tibet uses these singing bowls, they're made of metals, they're made of seven different metals, and I'm going to be playing them. This is the part of the TEDx talk where there won't be that much talking. <laughs> but the instruction, the meditation instruction is very simple. It's simply a way to connect with you, with who you are. What we're doing is building a bridge between our individual self, and let's just call it the universal self, the universal consciousness. So the instruction is very simple. All you do is sit comfortably, and, and I invite you to close your eyes so you can heighten your sense of hearing. And I'll be playing these overtone-rich sounds for just a few minutes. And during these few minutes, all you do is listen and listening not only to the sounds, but listening to the sensations in your body, in your mind stream, and just taking this as an opportunity to connect with something beyond the stream here. Now, before we begin, I do want to share that this is not serious. <laughs> While we're meditating, as I was taught, there is a, 
an, an attention to posture, to breath, and also to a very important part of our bodies, the corners of our mouth. And by activating it just a little bit, we can begin to access what the ancient Chinese called the inner smile. So sitting with the inner smile for just a few minutes, breathing and listening. Bringing attention to your in-breath and your out-breath, resting in the present moment. Journeying inward. Mindful of each breath. For this next section, remaining aware of the silence that exists between each sound.
Everyone, please rub their hands together. Create some warmth. And let's tap our legs. Remember the inner smile. <laughs> Are you feeling good? It's good to be alive. Now with your voice, I invite you to remember there are no wrong notes. Let's build a bridge of sound together. Begin to play with a few sounds that everyone can make. We came hardwired for this stuff. We came built in instruments. Try this one out, clicking your tongue. Let's listen to that. Keep on clicking. Take a break with the hands. Let's have this half continue. This means to continue. This half, take a break. This half. And accompanying this heartbeat, this primal instinctual sound with a, a natural sound from your voice. Pa, pa, something that is yours. Pa, chica, pa, boom, boom. Let me hear you. As we're doing this, aware of the space we're filling. Pa, pa. This means a little bit louder means something else in England. This is <laughs> balcony and this side. Get ready for a very short flick of sound. A little spritz. Ready? Yeah. Now choose a different sound. Yeah, let it come. Immerse yourself in the rapture of music. Tend to each note. Rising from the silence and decaying again. This means to sing a long tone. Ooh. The entire group now sing a long ah, the kind of sigh when you've just returned from a long trip and you're so happy to be home. Ah, yeah. That's a sound we don't have to practice. Now, extend your sigh into a note. Another. Now, we really build a bridge across the room because we've got this half of the tribe doing their part to keep it going. So listen to your traveler on the left of you and the right of you and stay together. 
add a little something that you want. Just be free, yes. This half. Bell, bell. Hell, bell. Raise the balcony. Everybody. The power of sound to bring us into the present moment. Every sound can be that portal. Low note of a piano, even the drone of the lawnmower. If we listen to it, if we take the time just to listen. Music and sound never stop to teach me more about life. A few years ago, while playing the didgeridoo at Roswell Park Cancer Institute for a, a patient, he went so deeply into his state of listening that he forgot. He told me it was the first time in almost eight years that he forgot he had cancer. He forgot that he was going through a bone marrow transplant. He had gone beyond the personal story and connected with a universal self. We sat in silence for a long time, amazed at how this could happen. And we spent many other visits making sounds together, being in the present moment together. We come hardwired for this stuff, and I just want to thank you all for jumping in with some spontaneous, spontaneous music making together. Thank you very much. My name is Stuart Fuchs. It's been an honor. Thank you.